Hi guys, welcome to Music of a Man. It's time for a little tech tip. Roll the titles. So let's say you have a subscription to Netflix or Amazon Prime Video or even just you have videos or TV shows on your phone and you want to watch them on your TV but your TV is not necessarily a smart TV and you can't get it over through the Wi-Fi or anything like that. Now this is a great little hack that can be used with any Android phone. I'm using it with a Samsung Galaxy Note 4 but I can confirm that it works with an S3 an S4, an S5, it's brilliant. It's really, really good and here's how to do it. There's just a few things you need for this. Obviously you need a TV with a HDMI input. That's really, really important. Uh, you could do with a USB input in there as well, even if it doesn't do anything other than charge your phone because that's what we're using the USB for. It's just to charge what we're actually going through. If not, that's fine. You just may need to make sure that you've got a charge point close by your TV to plug in your phone charger because this is what we're getting. It's a HD TV adapter. They're a nice little bit of kit. You've got a input there. It's, it looks like a micro USB, but it's actually not, but uh, it works the same. Here you do have a micro USB input uh, and that's where your phone charger is going to go into because this is an active piece of kit. It needs to be powered. Uh, that's why if you've got a USB in your TV, it works even better because you can just draw the power from there. Not only does the USB power this, but it also charges your device. And of course, you can use virtually any Android device with this, uh, even your tablets. Uh, but make sure it's got a micro USB input, just like your phone. Uh, some of the Galaxy tabs don't. They have a much wider socket. But as long as it's got a micro USB in there, it works an absolute trick. This is a great alternative for Chromecast as well because if you've, got a, if you've got a spare phone lying around, I've got an S3 that's just in a drawer, you can use that. It works absolutely brilliantly. As long as you can connect to the Wi-Fi with it, you can get on Netflix, on YouTube, on Amazon Prime Video, anything like that. Links in the description below for where to get this, and this is how it works. If you don't have a USB input on your TV, no problem. Just make sure that your charger is close by your phone charger and plug it into there. So then at this point, we've got two wires. You've got your HDMI, you've also got your micro USB. This USB, as I said, is plugged into the TV. So is this. You take your HD TV adapter, you plug the micro USB in the side. Now, there's other versions of this that are out in the market where the plug is maybe here or maybe alongside. It's quite obvious that the micro USB won't go into a HDMI. So uh, you just plug it in where it fits. So that goes into there. You then take the HDMI and plug it into there. Simple. Now let's turn on the TV. Obviously you need to make sure that the HDMI input that you're using is selected. So with that selected, we take the phone and unlock it. Now my phone is currently on 10%, which isn't brilliant. But the great thing is, as I said, this charges it. I'm not too sure if it does fully charge it or maybe it just keeps it at that level. But here it says HDMI cable connected and there's your phone. And as you can see, we've got it in portrait. It's coming up on the TV as in portrait and you swipe along and it's all good. Now here's the thing, when you turn your phone, if you've got screen rotation turned on, make sure the screen rotation is turned on. When you've got it turned on, if you go into anything that does allow screen rotation, let's say uh, Amazon. So there's the product that you need. But if we go landscape, it will convert to landscape. So as I said, this is what you need. I was actually going to put this uh, the actual graphic up, but I don't need to now. So that is what is plugged in there. Obviously there's your HDMI, that goes into your phone. Oh, hold on. And that bit there, that is your, uh, your micro USB uh, that normally goes into your phone, that goes into there. There's another little look of it. And yeah, so that's it. Uh, as I said, link in the description below uh, for where to get this on Amazon. And currently the price is 7 dollars 
£7.99 and it works an absolute trick. Obviously, if you haven't got a spare HDMI cable, uh, you can always use something that you're already using, just unplug it and plug it into here. But for ease of use, it's a good idea just to get yourself HDMI. They're not too much these days, four or five quid, and just keep it all together. Uh, we've, I'm actually using a spare data cable so from an old phone, so this all kind of stays as it is. Let's see if we go to Netflix. Uh, oh, Better Call Saul, loving that. Uh, uh, Fry's Planet Word. If you've not watched that, it's fantastic. Love a bit of Stephen Fry. I'm also watching White Collar at the moment, uh, which is also great, and it just works quite simple. You, you've got your volume control on the side here as well. Are you thinking about how you steal it? Now that's not the greatest quality, but that's probably because of my internet connection. Um, let it buffer a little bit, and uh, it just it runs absolutely great obviously buffering with the likes of Netflix and all that but there you go can't really play much more of that because I don't want to uh, infringe copyright but yeah so that's Netflix working absolutely perfectly on there and of course let's say YouTube you've got your YouTube channel right there again go to the side uh, that's that's us and you've got it right on your TV. Play straight away. Adverts, just as normal. But again, everything comes up as you would expect. Now, don't forget that you've got... This is music of a man and your sound is absolutely so much better. So much better. He's a handsome man. Obviously, your volume works on here. So it works on there, so it's a little bit out. So, so today I have a review of the just going to shut him up a little bit. Uh, that's a nice, uh, lovely pose, Adam. Uh, if you bring your volume to around maybe uh, two thirds, and then the you use your volume on your TV. Never have your volume at full on your phone because it really will just distort. One thing to remember, if you queue up anything in your actual video player app, the native video player app on here, I have the titles queued up just like I did at the beginning. And what you have actually on the screen is, uh, is this little thing. This means that it's pushing the screen, it's sharing the screen somewhere else. You can also do this over Wi-Fi if you've got a really smart TV. Not just a smart TV, a really smart TV. <laughs> But effectively, what happens is your phone turns into a actual remote control for this. And as you press play on here, it will play it on there, but not on the TV screen because it's using this as an output monitor. So I hope that's helped how to get your phone onto your TV. It could be a nice alternative for getting a Chromecast or anything like that. And uh, it works really, really well. As always, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you'd like the video, share, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.